Right, uh, just making a recording on the Targeted Individual Programme, United Kingdom, 2017. It is the 6th of November, the day after bonfire night. Uh, I just want to talk about a few things that have happened to me and, um, you know, explain how they've been targeting me. So, you know, I, I go to see this lass, this girl, and um, I've seen her for the last three days now. Um... Now, I, I was this girl I knew from college, and she reappeared in my life about a year ago. So, you know, I have a feeling that they're trying to use her to play mind games. So, I'm going to go into this a bit more. But, um, basically, I've seen her, um, you know, chilled with her a bit. And, um... She seems to really like me, and she's showing me all these signs that she likes me, and you know, and all all this kind of stuff. But then two days later, she's acting all cold with me, and and I know it's still like the first day, she all right. Then the day after, she starts acting all cold, looking at her phone, not uh, talking to me or giving me any uh, attention or anything. So I'm like, what are they trying to do? So I, I just get a vibe, man. And a few weeks ago, I don't feel guilty for doing this shit because as a TI, you have to do this shit. So, you know, she was out, man. And I seen some pictures on a computer. So I look at a computer, yeah. And there's there's bare motherfuckers in on these pictures doing satanic hand signals around her. She isn't doing them herself. So I'm thinking, yo, there's about three people. Doing satanic hand signals. And I, I sent some of these pictures to someone I know who's also a TI. I ain't got a response yet. But um, I, I showed him. I wanted to send them him. To show him. You know. So I'm like what the fuck. Because they're doing the devil horn. Basically doing the devil horn symbol. In these motherfucking pictures. So I'm like what. what, what is this some kind of fucking court or something like that. So. You know, I, 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 I do that shit. You know, I, I film that shit. You know, I'm just, I'm just going to show you. I want to light a cigarette. Yeah. So, I'm going to light a Sorry, I'm not trying to target anyone by saying that, because I really do target people with smoking, but I just felt really stressed, um, you know, the last few days. So, yeah, basically, you know, these motherfuckers are making me feel, she's giving me all the attention and stuff. And then the day after, she's just acting like she doesn't know me. So, like for example, the first night I slept with her in a bed. Second night, she don't want to motherfucking uh, sleep with me in the bed. She wants me to sleep in her. Now get this, she wants me to sleep in her bed. But she wants to sleep on the sofa. You know what I mean? It's like, what? What is that shit about, man? You know, why are you making me sleep in your bed, but you're slept on the sofa? So, you know, I'm, I'm like, what the fuck, man? Because this shit to me is quite weird. It's like, why are you, uh, you know... Wanting me to basically sleep in your bed... But not sleep with you in the bed like I did the other night because oh, I'm just gonna get a drink. I'm back, I just got a drink. But it's like, it's like, why are 
why are you motherfuckers wanting me fucking um sorry why is she wanting me to sleep in a bed the first night letting me cuddle and shit and then the day after she's acting all cold with me yeah why is that and that's the mind games man and i'll give you another example of that So at my garden place the other day, yeah, basically, sorry man, I'm smoking and talking at the same time, garden place the other day, I went to this open, the other week, sorry, I went to this open day, yeah, and basically, there was this last there, this girl, and Basically, um, you know, she's acting like she likes me. We'll get talking for a bit. And then she's like, you know, what day are you in? So I said, you know, I'm, I'm in Tuesday and I'm in um, Thursday. So You know, it makes me wonder if they send this motherfucker to find out information or something. So she's asking me that, yeah? What day I'm in? I'm, is it Tuesday or Thursday? She wants to know. So, you know, I tell her Tuesday and Thursday. But it's like she acting like she likes me and everything. You know, and basically... I don't see her again. Like, as soon as she says that, I'm expecting to see her, you know, the next week. And I don't fucking see her again. You know, I don't see her again. So, I'm thinking, are they trying to do similar shit with this girl? Like, get my hopes up. that something good will come out of it. You know, and then nothing happens, man. I'm starting to think, is that what they're trying to do? Trying to play mind games with me? Because you know how these, this one thing these motherfuckers do is they like to play mind games. So, basically... You know, that's what I'm thinking. I'm starting to think these motherfuckers are playing mind games. So, you know... So I'm pissed off kind of about this shit a bit. It's like all my life I've had this shit happen, man. All my life this kind of shit has happened. You know, letting down by females. I've had it all my life. They've acted like they like me, yeah? Acting like they like me, and then the same shit every time. Man. They don't, they don't. I don't see him again, or I can't be with them, or they don't want to be with me all of a sudden. That's that's the kind of shit I've experienced my whole life, man. I've been female after female since I've been a kid. This shit has happened to. So I'm thinking, are they either telling them something about me to, to stop them wanting to be with me, or is it a deliberate mind game these motherfuckers are trying to play? Because I, I don't know, man. You know, I'm, I'm in two minds about what this shit could be. But it's crazy like that, man. Because it just, it just fucks with your head. You know, and I'm, I'm starting to think, is it these motherfuckers trying to make me feel like I'm not worthy of a female partner? You know, because I've not been looking for a female partner for a long time. And I'm starting to get interested again. So and maybe they're trying to shoot me down. Like, you know, make me feel bad. Because I'm starting to get interested in seeing a female again. So, it's, it's like that, man. It just makes me wonder. Because the shit's strange to me. It seems strange. So, you know, these, these motherfuckers, they play games like that. It just, it just fucks with your head like that. So... You know, I'm, I'm thinking, okay, are these motherfuckers trying to 
make me feel like this. Now, I'll back to the satanic pictures. I found about four satanic pictures of people doing these uh, hand signals with her in. So um, I've got two thoughts running through my mind. Is this motherfucker working with these people? Or has this motherfucker been manipulated by these people? Brainwashed, in other words, because this person is quite vulnerable in some ways. She's not. In some ways, she's quite vulnerable. So, you know how my culture goes. They like to abuse the victim. So, I'm thinking, with all this targeting shit, maybe it's like my culture, but instead of the abuse going on in a closed room, maybe the abuse is going on, you know, in, in, in the outside world. You know what I'm saying? The traumatised people, because I've experienced this shit. Like, I've experienced bad shit all my life, man. Most TIs have experienced shit like that. Now, I don't know if I've been targeted all my life, but I'm starting to have my suspicions just by the things I've experienced, the things other TIs are telling me that I've ex they've experienced, that I've experienced, and just, just all this kind of stuff. So, you know, I'm thinking these kind of thoughts. So, yeah, I'm thinking... Basically, is she being manipulated, or is she even worse? Is she fully compliant with these people? So you know, two lasses recently, and both of them seem interested in me, and then she kind of get cold with me. You know, one don't want to hear from me again, and another one is acting all cold with me. So I don't know, man. The shit has me thinking. Now, for example, today, right, I'm in her flat. Yeah. She says she's gonna get her hair dyed and you think it'd take maybe an hour or two, but it takes five hours, man. It takes five or six hours. She leaves at eleven and she's back at about four. You know, so they like to make you wait. They like to remember uh, like just something just buzzed in my mind. Like I remember reading and a part of mind control is control of time. That's one of the tactics used, control of time. So I'm thinking, are they trying to get her to, you know, I don't know, control my time, make so she's, so I'm in a certain place at a certain time, or something like that. I don't know. What I do know is the. Um, it was a long time she was gone, you know. So, you know, I leave and she's acting cold and she seems to want to get rid of me early. I noticed that and I was, was going to go at five and she's like, nah, you can go earlier. I don't want you to be late. You know, she, she felt like she's trying to get rid of me early. You know what I mean? Cause they, they do very subtle things like that, man. They do very subtle things like that. So I'm, but I don't care, man, about looking on a computer because it's like these motherfuckers, man. They have done the same shit with me. I'm sure they looked at baby pictures and fucking passport pictures and shit like that. So I'm, I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do the same shit, man. Cause you put me in this program. If I think one of you motherfuckers are targeting me, I'm gonna fucking research you, and I'm, I'm gonna fucking, you know. Do my do my research when I can. If I think one of you motherfuckers is perps or he's been manipulated by the perps, I'm gonna do for a research on this person. If you know that means looking at pictures to get a clue, because I just felt something inside me like say, "Yo, James, look at the pictures. See if something seems out of place. See if this chick is all she seems to be." And now pictures tell a million words, as the saying goes. So, you know. Go through the pictures, and then I, f I see this motherfucking girl, and then there's these motherfuckers in the background, yeah, with the fucking devil horn signs, with the little smirks on their faces. So, you know, I'm like, yo, this this shit seems suspect, and it's not maybe one picture, you know, maybe there's some motherfucker that's like she's heavy metal and shit, but there's like three or four of these motherfuckers, and they don't look like that type of person, man. You know, if you could see the pictures, they don't look like heavy metal rockers or nothing that do these kind of shit like that. These look like everyday people. So I'm thinking, is this some kind of satanic cult or something? So 
so yeah, basically I, uh, no, I filmed that. I, um, not filmed it, sorry. I, I, uh, I was on a computer, so I get in touch with a TI that I know, and I, I send him the pictures, because I know he, he'll listen to what I'm saying, and he might um, agree with me on some of the things, because that's how I am. If I trust you and your TI, I'll, I'll uh, you know, I'm getting in touch with you, but the motherfuckers trying to act like the TIs when they're not as well, so... No, I sent I sent this guy the pictures, but I ain't got a reply yet. But I wanted to share them with him to see what he thinks, see if he can, can relate to anything, because that's a good way to learn and get more aware of the target. So, you know, basically, after that, I leave, and I'm waiting at the bus, and then there's, there's no one there, yeah? So they do the usual trick, they send two stagecoach buses, and I get the first buses. They don't send the first buses, I guess they want to target me, so they get this motherfucker, gay-looking motherfucker, to pose in front of me with one hand in his pocket. On the other side of the road, they get this car with hazard lights on, and I filmed a bit of that. And then they get, and you know, this is how they do it, you see. You know, and I've been getting, another thing I forgot to say, I've been getting targeted by trannies, and, uh, what else? I'm trying to think now. Motherfuckers with babies again. And you know why? You know, this chick I seen, yeah? She's saying, yo, I, I, uh, I wouldn't mind someone's, she was basically saying you know, some grimy shit, I know, but I'm not, I'm not gonna say it, because I'm gonna, you know, let you know how these people get down. So she's saying, you know, I, I want someone to give me a baby at some point. I hope, I, I want to have a kid. So now, the day before I see this chick, yeah, I'm seeing loads of motherfuckers with those baby pouches things. So I'm like, are these motherfuckers wanting me to get this chick pregnant or something? Which I'm not going to do. If we have sex, I'm going to use a fucking rubber. I'm not going to fucking get her pregnant, okay? So that, that, that's out of the way. I'll carry on. So, you know, I'm seeing all this kind of shit. All this kind of shit. Where it's, uh, you know, motherfucking people with baby carriages, not carriages, baby pouches. Because that's something they've been targeting me with this year for the first time. Is loads of people with fucking baby pouches. So I'm thinking, why do these motherfuckers want me to have a kid with her? And then I'm, I'm thinking, gay trapped in a relationship. And not only that, if I have, you know, to look after a kid, yeah, it's going to cost fucking money. Loads of money. So, you know, with this program, they're trying to, uh, you know, they're always trying to lower your funds, take your money off you, you know, and all this kind of shit. So, it's like, yo, I'm not having a kid with this girl, you know. There's only one person I think I'd ever have a kid with, but I'm not having a kid with this girl. I don't trust her, and that there's not the feeling there. You know, I might, I'm not even going to go there, but you know, what happens, what happens, but that's it. You know what I mean? But um, if that happens, I'm not, I'm not, I'm having strictly, you know, um, strictly condoms, no bullshit, no funky shit like that, okay? <laughs> so... I'm not, you know, I mean, they, they love to, there's so many traps, man. There's so many traps these motherfuckers try and lay out for you, man, I'll tell you right now. So, you know, I'm on my bus, and they got this motherfucker targeting me next to me, and he's, he's like, putting his fucking, he's constantly coughing, and they like to get your attention. So this motherfucker, he's like, putting his hand over his face, and touching his nose. So I start targeting this motherfucker really heavy, doing all my hand signals, fist to the mouth, which is my way of saying I'm going to fight you with my mouth, um, two fingers, and that, that's what I do to him, I'll, I'll show him two fingers like, over my mouth, or I'll do two fingers in a very subtle way, because it's like saying fuck you, you know, and I'm targeting him with all that kind of shit, and the guy, I can tell he's getting to me, he's not looking at me, he's looking in the window, because these motherfuckers have been watching me through the reflection in the bus windows. So, you know, 
basically um, that's how they do it. Um, but yeah, they they like fucking watching me through the fucking window, you know, watching me uh, basically um, what I'm doing. So I, I turn around, I can feel I'm being watched because I'm like that. I see this motherfucker looking at me. Like this guy, tough looking guy, because he's trying to target me by like these tough looking motherfuckers again. So this tough, and I notice when as soon as this tough guy gets on the bus, the motherfucker next to me does a hand signal. So I'm like, okay, that guy, he, I guess he means something in this part of the targeting. So I just look at the guy and then I just like yawn and like shake my head. You know, so it's like saying boring, you know, whatever, it's like that. So. No, this shit, this shit is a joke to me, man. It really, it really is a joke to me, man. Like, yeah. So, you know, um, I do that. Because they are jokes to me. They are pathetic motherfuckers, man. I do that, and then, uh, you know, I, I'm like, okay. This guy gets off the bus, so I'm like, right, you want to... You wanna, target me i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna target the shit out of you man so this motherfucker's crossing the road yeah i go up and i, I walk next to this motherfucker yeah and this motherfucker you should have seen his reaction he started like half running not running fully but half running like he was trying to get out the fuck away from me he, he, he did not like that i could tell that affected him really bad intimidated him so I carried on to get to my bus, and then there's this fucker that I filmed in one of my videos. Uh, you know, he's just, I've got a video of him, but it's this fucker, like, got his back to me, and he's doing the hand signals, and guess, got his back to me, because he knows I'm going to target him. Doesn't want to be, me to see him being targeted, so, you know, this motherfucker's doing all this kind of shit. And, uh, <laughs> I target him, I stand behind him, and then just after that, he leaves. Oh, they are some stupid motherfuckers. And they, oh, they did a U-turn on my bus stop as well with a bomb break like that. They've been doing the one headlight as well. They've also been targeting me with fire engines. Um, without the lights on, but I've noticed a lot of fire engines I've been seeing recently. Uh, but yeah, I'll give you another example of how they targeting me and how they delay things. So I've ordered a pack of CDs off Discogs. Yeah. And this guy is saying, you know, I, I wait three days and I hear nothing. So this guy, I, I message this guy and I'm saying, you know, what's going on? Why why has the order not been changed to shit? And he's like, oh, I've been checking the CD's work. I'll get back to you in three or four days, yeah? Six days go by, nothing. So I'm like, what's going on here? You know, I just sent him a message now. And I haven't received nothing in the post. Nothing's come through the post. Nothing. So I'm thinking, are they trying to deliberately delay my fucking package here for me getting the CDs? Because it's like, this guy said he'd message me back in three days' time after that last message. It's been six days. So I've been waiting nine days for this CD. And I've seen this guy's feedback, and it says, lightning fast delivery. It says, lightning fast delivery. So I'm like, okay, so I have to wait over a week for a CD pack. It's like, what the fuck's going on? So I sent this motherfucker a message, and if I don't receive the CD... If, if it ain't shipped within a week or so, I'm just going to get my money back on this shit. Because, unfortunately, I'm going to be going away. So, it'll be there when I get back. But, you know, that's how they do it. It's like nine days. You're telling me this motherfucker has lightning fast delivery on his feedback. And then this shit is not here for nine days. But that's because I'm a TI, that's what they like to do, they like to make me wait for shit. When I used to order takeaways, the shit would never turn up, or it'd be late as fuck, you know what I mean? This kind of thing happened all the time. Well, I mean, I mean, all the time this kind of thing happened to me. So, I'm used to it. I ex expected it. As soon as I ordered the CD, I thought, you know, and it happened with the last load of CDs I got. And actually, the load before the last load. You know, the motherfuckers delayed it, and um, it didn't turn up for ages, you know, for absolute ages. So, 
basically that's how they do it. The lazy CDs. And, uh, yeah. But yeah, that's all I gotta say really. I just thought I'd uh, mention all this kind of stuff. Alright.